Welcome. The subject on this short video is commercial printed circuit board mount solid state AC relays. I'm your host, Lewis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. As we saw before, a solid state AC relay is often an LED emitter of some kind and usually some kind of photo triac circuit. When the light from the LED strikes the photosensitive gate, the uh, terminals will switch on and completing the current path for the AC through a load. Note that these are AC only devices uh, if you use DC, they will turn on and they will never turn off until you disconnect the DC source. Not much use for DC. Here's a basic solid state relay that we went over in another video. I won't go into the individual circuits, but more broadly, we have here an input circuit. We usually have some kind of opto isolator. Then we have the output circuit. So electrically, the input and the outputs are separated from each other and are linked only by the light emitted from an LED. Let's look at some more commercial units for this. Let's see what else we got. Of course, this optocoupler can be more complicated than the one you saw here. It could have zero crossing circuitry or other circuits to assure proper circuit operation. Now we come to a real PC board mount AC relay. This is the Vichy Semiconductors VO2223A. It's an 8-pin device rated at 600 volts at 1 amp. So we have our standard LED emitter but built into the case is not just a photo, dia, a photo triac that you can access through pins 8 and 5, but also an internally built triac circuit that when the, when the LED lights up, the photo triac switches on the heavier internal triac, and that's where you're going to connect your load. The load is generally connected between pins 8 and 6, and you're utilizing the internal triac to carry your load. 600 volts, 1 amp, it's a pin of an 8-pin IC, not bad, and it's a PC board mount. Again, here is the connections between 8 and 6, and your input is your standard LED circuits like every other one. You can also, if you wanted to use these, you could use the input circuit back here for that. So you could have a fairly broad range input circuit for the, uh, for the VO2223A. Just use your imagination. Again, this is how it would connect. You want to connect your and your load doesn't matter if it's between the AC and pin 6 or the AC and pin 8. Works either way. Let's drop back and take a look at something else before we go on. Going all the way back to here, remember when we're using this solid state relay is for mainly resistive loads. If you're going to use inductive loads, you need a snubber circuit across the output. That was the resistor capacitor circuit you saw in my other videos and on the diagrams at the website. The same thing holds true with the VO2223A. If you're going to use this to drive an inductive load, if this is, this is a resistive load, if you're going to do an inductive load, you have to put the snubber across pins 6 and 8. The CX series by Crydom Electronics are PC board solid state relays. You see a picture of it here. You have two input pins, plus and minus, in this particular one, and you have two output pins. 
you can get ratings as high as 5 volts at 660 volts AC. You have a heavy duty SCR output. The inputs can be AC or DC. Depending on which ones you choose, it can have zero crossing circuitry for resistive loads or random fire inductive load circuitry. This is an internal block diagram of a Crydom CX series with AC input. It has an AC to DC converter and your usual LED photo emitter, but this uses a photo transistor circuit that trips on a trigger circuit that trips on two back-to-back -back SCRs. As this shows, the AC load can be connected either in side A or side B. Doesn't matter. Two of the most common ones that they put out there it has an input of 120 volts AC and another one has a 24 volts AC. I think both of these particular ones are at 5 amps. You would use these with PLCs and industrial control machinery. This is the DC input from Crydom. It consists really, while it doesn't show a whole lot, two resistors and an LED, in reality it's something like this circuit here. They just don't show it. Again, the output is identical, same tr uh, transistor, trigger circuit, back-to-back -back SCRs, and you can connect it up like A or B. Doesn't matter, it's AC. The input is 3 to 30, uh, 2 volts DC. This should be able to operate directly from, say, an Arduino. I pulled this out of the MOC 3041 spec sheet. It's a closer look at using back-to-back -back SCRs. The SCRs gotta be, are got to be matched, by the way. You can't just pick out two random SCRs. And here's some other associated circuitry. But all of that stuff is integrated along with zero crossing detectors or whatever else you specify in a single four pin package, easy to mount on a PC board, um, a really nice solution. And that's just a uh, that's just this little intro video of some AC relays you can get or ideas if you decide to build your own. Make sure you visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for viewing.